Greetings, Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Sunday, January 8th. Today, uh, we are talking about the planet Mars and thinking about what it means to have Mars in Gemini, what it means for you, for action, for getting things done, and for finding your courage in 2023. Uh, today, the moon is also in Leo, which helps us uh, think about sharing and shining our light and uh, being creative and a, a force for good uh, as we think about what it means to radiate our truth, our truth and our true selves into the world. So, uh, so thinking today about the planet Mars and um, Mars is the warrior planet. It is the planet of action, of courage. It is that part of us that when we are on a battlefield, literally or figuratively, that uh, we need to be able to act from uh, from a place of instinct, from a place of drive, from a place of knowing who we are, because Mars is not the energy of thinking things through. <laughs> it is the energy of action. It's the energy of doing what needs to be done. And when the planet of action and courage is in the sign Gemini, which is all about thinking and processing information, it does give us a little bit more of this need and ability to think about what we're doing, <laughs> to, <laughs> to process information as part of the way of moving forward. And um, so, of course, Mars is about how we get things done. It is, uh, it's about how uh, what, how we need to uh, take action, to move on things, to be assertive, to not hold back, um, to, to be uh, assertive rather than aggressive in a harmful way, right? Like not um, just plowing over anything that's in your path, but actually taking strategic action, knowing what you're doing and why you're doing it. And when we are acting from a place of truth, of our own uh, empowerment, uh, sometimes that uh, can be a little, um, uh, we can have some hesitation uh, because it's vulnerable. So, uh, so taking action from that place of truth takes courage, and it is the action of finding that courage, the process of finding that courage that helps us move authentically in the world and do what we're here to do. So, um, so we've had Mars in Gemini since August, and normally uh, Mars uh, Mars takes two years to go all the way around the zodiac. It's a little bit slower than um, Mercury and Venus, and of course the Sun, uh, which you know is moving around the zodiac, even though <laughs> it's the center of the solar system. That's how the zodiac works. Um, but when uh, Mars uh, just takes a little bit longer, it's a little further out in the solar system, uh, its orbit is bigger and it takes a little bit longer. So Mars um, typically is in a sign for approximately two months. Uh, varies a little bit, but when Mars goes retrograde, as it did in Gemini, what happens is it goes takes about two months going forward in Gemini stations retrograde to go backward back over territory it's already been through in Gemini and then stations direct to go forward in Gemini again so what you end up with is a situation we have now where Mars is actually in Gemini for seven months uh, instead of the normal two so uh so every couple of years Mars goes retrograde like that and uh, and we have this extended stay of Mars in a particular sign. Uh, a couple of years ago in 2020, we had uh, Mars in an extended stay in Aries that actually happened uh, where Mars was in its own sign in, in that sign of action and courage and risk taking and, uh, and uh, aggressive actions uh, during the January 6th insurrection. So, um, so what does it mean to have Mars in Gemini for an extended stay? 
it means that this part of us that is moving forward in the world that is needing to take action and uh, li <clears throat> live and move from our true selves, our place of empowerment, our authenticity, um, being vulnerable in in the sense that we are showing up fully as who we are, that takes courage in the area of uh, information and thinking and thought processes and ideas and uh, mental processing. So the ways that you need to take action are on information and uh, gathering information, being proactive about informing yourself, about learning things, about uh, gathering data about whatever is showing up in your life. Um, and then with Mars retrograde, which um, uh, so Mars went direct through Gemini from August until the end of October, and then on October 30th, Mars stationed retrograde. So since then, Mars has been retrograde, meaning <laughs> that every time we try to move forward, we might feel thwarted, we might feel frustrated, we might feel like things are just not um, working the way they should. And then you add into that the fact that Mercury stationed uh, retrograde. And so we now have both Mars and Mercury retrograde. Mercury, as the ruler of Gemini, is having a, a, an especially uh, direct influence on Mars in terms of that Gemini energy, the information processing, the ideas. So, so Mercury being retrograde kind of makes Mars retrograde even more uh, frustrating or um, difficult to move forward on. Uh, and and with Mercury in Capricorn, uh, I've been talking a little bit about this, about how uh, with the Capricorn energies, we are in the Capricorn moon cycle. We have uh, the Capricorn um themes uh, happening at, at this time during this Mercury retrograde. Mercury, of course, is retrograde in Capricorn. So there is uh, the, all the normal stuff that we have when Mercury is retrograde. We are uh, in a time of review, reflection, um, reconsidering, right? Like uh, there's a need to go back over things you've already thought through, things you've maybe already made a decision on, to go back and reconsider, um, to uh, reevaluate, to go deeper into uh, some places where you've already been to review and think about whether that's really it's still how you want to do it. Do you want to uh, rethink things? Do you want to do them differently? Do you want to uh, get more clear on your thinking? So that is all happening. And with Capricorn, we also have this additional energy of uh, structure and systems and organization. So uh, the um, the, the themes of uh, of reconsidering also have to do with getting reorganized, reformulating, rethinking the plan. Uh, <laughs> these are all, um, th th this is where the power is, right? And it's the part of us that says, ah, you know, I'm just going to go forth and do it anyway. And you're just, it's not going to work out uh, because that's not what the energies are supporting right now. The energies are supporting uh, going back over territory you've already been over and getting reorganized, having an opportunity to rethink, to reformulate uh, the plan. And um, of course, we can see that happening with what's going on in the news. If you've been paying any attention um, with the uh, electing the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and they keep holding uh, these votes, right? And nothing is moving forward and nothing is happening. And so it's just a reminder that what really needs to happen is that we need to rethink uh, where we're at. We need to rethink our strategy. We need to get reorganized. We need to um, reconsider our plan. 
So we can see that happening in uh, the real world, in the news and what's going on. It's uh, also showing up in our lives in whatever way is uh, particular for you and what it is that you're thinking about and planning and working on. And so you might be having that experience of frustration in trying to move forward because really where the power is, is is in an opportunity to rethink, to reformulate, to reorganize, to um, think think about the plan and think about your thinking, <laughs> reconsider your, your thinking about things. Um, and so letting go of a need to push forward, letting go of a need to see results because we're not there yet. We are uh, in this planning formulating stage and getting really clear, getting organized, um, seeking new information, educating and informing ourselves, um, taking the time to learn, <clears throat> taking a little extra time to dive deeper into the things we're learning about and how that can affect and influence what we are working on. And then uh, this week, Mars will be stationing direct in Gemini. Uh, so January 12th is uh, the is the Mars direct station. And uh, so so we're going to have Mars slow down. Um, it slows way down and kind of hovers in one spot and then very slowly begins to move forward again. And that's Mars stationing direct. Um, so as Mars begins to go direct, we're going to start to have a little bit more forward movement slowly at first and then gathering steam as we go. Um, that uh, energy of Mars uh, beginning to move forward is still impacted by Mercury being retrograde. So on um, the 18th, January 18th, Mercury will station direct and then we'll get a little bit more momentum going. Um, so uh, tentative, I would say with Mar Mars stationing direct, we're going to start to have some tentative action, some tentative movement, some, some hesitation, but also some dipping toes in the water. And that's where we really want to start as we begin to move forward with um, uh, Mars uh, beginning to slowly move direct. Um, it is still in Gemini. We are still in the realm of information, ideas, thinking. Um, so again, sort of putting a new idea forward, testing it, uh, dipping our toes in the water, tentatively um, seeing what people think. How does it feel to share that idea? And then, uh, of course, continue to refine it and get clear about the words we want to use and the messaging we want to use uh, with whatever it is we're working on. So that, uh, so starting to, to have more forward movement, more of this action and courage showing up in our words, in our voices. And that has been um, a big part of the Mars and Gemini energy is themes of looking at uh, what does it mean to have courage in terms of your voice, speaking out loud, speaking up, uh, taking a stand through uh, saying what you need to say. And um, finding the right words is part of that. You might have also uh, writing projects or communication that you're working on. Maybe there's communication happening in a, in a relationship or multiple relationships in your life. And those themes of communication and getting the words across are going to continue, you know, again, right now with Mars retrograde, Mercury retrograde, we are still reformulating what we think, how we want to talk about it. We're trying things, um, but we're going to have to keep going back and, and getting clear again about what we want to say. And then with Mars stationing direct, we can uh, begin to tentatively have some a little bit more progress, a little bit more traction and forward movement slowly at first. Um, and then uh, we've also got Uranus that will be stationing direct. It will be the final uh, of the retrograde planets, currently retrograde planets, uh, to station direct. Um, 
And then uh, all of the planets will be direct for a time period. So, uh, so during that uh, moment of planets being direct, that is when we want to think about moving forward on our creative projects, on things we're taking action on, on um, living and uh, be, you know, being in our courage, being and living according to our truth, uh, stepping into new uh, senses of who we are. So identities, uh, sense of self, um, and <clears throat> there's so, <clears throat> a lot of Aquarian energy coming up this year, excuse me. <clears throat> So in uh, toward the end of January, we're going to have a new moon in Aquarius, during which we'll have four planets in Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Saturn. Um, that Aquarian energy is really going to give us a taste of what things look like as we step into new possibilities, new ways of being, new ways of thinking, thinking outside the box, um, getting uh, new ideas about old problems. Um, and new way, new approaches. So, uh, and then later this year uh, in March, Pluto will go into Aquarius. Pluto is way, way far out there in the solar system and is, uh, you know, moves very slowly. So spends many years in a sign. Pluto going into Aquarius gives us a background theme of uh, this Aquarian energy, which is about change. It is about the future. It is about new possibility and a breath of fresh air. And uh, so we really want to um, take advantage of this kind of collective opportunity to to open the window, let in the fresh air, rethink things now. So right now we're in that rethinking phase. And, uh, you know, the, the power here is the ability to let go of the thinking of the past. And that is, um, I can't underestimate or <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't, well, what, I don't know what the word is, but <laughs> we cannot underestimate enough how powerful um, uh, th that um, it will be to let go of the thinking, right? We've been through a lot and uh, in, in the past few years, since 2008, Pluto went into Capricorn. Things have been hard, just hard. And that is one of the hallmarks of Pluto in Capricorn is it's taking us into kind of the winter of the soul. And uh, and so we get kind of in that stuck feeling place. We get in this retractive um, uh, feeling uh, like things are hard and we feel powerless and it's just there's a feel like, like there's an internalized uh, feeling of limitation or poverty or constriction and um, so there's there's a part of us that's going to be challenged to actually let go of that way of thinking as we um, uh, let in that breath of fresh air and open to the change that uh, is going to be part of the next set of energies. And the beautiful thing about the planets is they tell us how things will change and that nothing is forever. So, um, so what is it you're needing to let go of? How can you actively, proactively let go of old thinking? old patterns and habits of how you think about things, of your expectations, your assumptions, your beliefs about the way things are and the way things must be. <laughs> so letting go of, you know, okay, you know, what what is it, what, what is the feeling th that's heavy inside of you? What do you need to let go of? Because there is some lightness that is coming and you, you can absolutely cling to to the old feeling of limitation, of heaviness, and not take advantage of the lightness because you're stuck in some of those old ways of being. So, so we need to just kind of take care of ourselves. We are in the, um, you know, the energy of the cancer full moon and self-care, <laughs> themes of self-care. So um, really like giving yourself the nurturing, the support that you need to uh, to take care of yourself, to support your emotional process so you can let go of some of the limited 
thinking that, uh, you know, whatever it is for you, whatever's um, not serving the greatest good or your highest vision or the highest possibility for, for who you can become, how you can be in the world and the life you can experience. And that um, will be both on the personal level and on the collective level as uh, you know, we, we need to create a critical mass of us who are open to these new possibilities in a really positive way, thinking positively about the future, because then we can ride this wave of the Aquarian energy to say, okay, things are going to change. And here's what direction I want that to go in. Here's how I want that to look. Um, and really like standing solidly in what we care about, what's important to us, our vision for the future. So what is this, uh, the power of this Mars as it um, goes forward in Gemini is to embrace new ways of thinking, to embrace um, uh, the ideas and the uh, open mind, that's the curiosity that's going to make us ready and available to take advantage of new ideas and move on them and implement them as uh, the planets begin to one by one move forward and go direct here. Um, and that courage is going to continue with Mars still in Gemini through uh, late March. Um, and so, again, you know, this extended stay of Mars in Gemini means we have extra time to work on Gemini themes and our need to be courageous and take action in the realm of communication, of ideas, of learning, of gathering information, and uh, kind of revamping our thinking and reconsidering our positions on things because um, you know, we might have something we need to let go of that we've been attached to uh, that will uh, create space for us to, you know, maybe make new connections. Uh, Gemini is also about networking and communication. So uh, so maybe there are new um, connections that you need to make that are going to help move things forward that are going to support this process of uh, taking action, finding your courage, moving forward on uh, what you can make a difference on and how you can be positive in uh, your work, in your impact, in anything you're working on in your life, even if it's a very personal um, type of issue. So Mars is going to be continuing direct in Gemini. Mercury will station direct in Capricorn, helping us get reorganized and, and clear about the plan. And, uh, and then in March, Mars will go into Cancer, where we will have that protective mama bear energy, the energy of the warrior in the sign of the mother, the nurturer, the healer. Um, and so uh, bringing in that energy of, uh, of feeling protective, of taking action that creates an, a caring environment that supports emotions um, and being proactive in um, addressing emotional themes and feelings and needs for ne the need for caring and kindness and mutual support. Um, certainly with, the, with Mars and Cancer, we can also have that reactive energy. So uh, uh, acting from emotion. So Mars is very spontaneous. It's very direct, right? It's the energy of the warrior who needs to act without thinking because time is of essence when you're being attacked. Um, and then when Mars is in Cancer. We can uh, we can act. We can react. Uh, we can act without thinking from a place that is emotional. So that can be anger, lashing out. It can be um, from fear. And so we want to take care of ourselves because that allows us to act from positive emotions, right? And to support the movement of emotions that clears the space that we need to do for healing. And uh, so, so 
think of Mars energy instead of being uh, the the crab claws and uh, being defending and protecting and snapping and harming whatever comes near you to um, to more of the uh, the shell, the crab shell that is protecting the vulnerable insides and giving you space to attend to your inner needs and do the healing work that you need to do and uh, feel your feelings and process your emotions because that's what ultimately helps us to heal and to be our best selves. Uh, if we're, if we're just, um, uh, being taken over by our emotional state, uh, we're not as effective. And so emotions are really important, but they need the right time and place. They need respect. Uh, we need to feel and process our emotions in the appropriate places, create boundaries for ourselves so that we can do that work of attending to our own vulnerable selves. Um, if that's uh, journaling or talking to a friend or just taking some space for yourself, take care of yourself in the ways that you need to, to support um, your process. And that allows you to be more powerful and effective to move forward as a mama bear, as a defender and protector of vulnerability and of the needs of yourself, of the people you care about needs of people in the world, feeling um, that uh, ability to be a someone who is caring and providing a caring world, contributing to a caring world that uh, cares for people and supports them in having their needs met. So that Mars energy is really asking us to think about courage, to think about who we are, how we think about things, where we are um, in terms of our, our beliefs, our expectations, our assumptions, our thinking, um, and to uh, ask ourselves what, uh, what needs to change about that, what needs to be reevaluated, reformulated, uh, reconsidered, and then taking action on that as Mars uh, begins to station, well, as it stations and begins to slowly move uh, direct and then uh, more traction as we go forward. So there you go. I um, hope that gives you some good information uh, as Mars continues through 2023. It's going to progress through the signs, um, beginning, of course, to move faster. It, it won't spend as long in other signs as it has in Gemini. It's going to move through Cancer, Leo, uh, Virgo, Libra, um, Scorpio, Sagittarius. All uh, It's going to hit all those signs as we go through the year. So we'll have Mars and Courage getting uh, developed as it evolves through the zodiac signs, which is uh, what is uh, so wonderful and cool about astrology is that it helps us see what we're learning about action, what we're learning about courage at this moment in time. And right now uh, we are learning about our thinking and how to move forward with communications, ideas, words, information, and uh, and planning, uh, think, thinking about our plans. So uh, perfect time to formulate your plans, reconsider things that you may have already put in motion or been thinking about putting in motion. Just really uh, deepen your thinking about what you want, what is possible, opening to new possibilities that you haven't even considered yet. So as you reconsider, you might let go of some of the heaviness or restriction of the past, opening the door to new possibilities. Thank you so much for being here and for your support. Uh, learn more about me and how to work with me at astrologyheals.com. You can read my books. You can schedule time uh, to work with me looking at your chart and uh, get support for your own healing process, looking at uh, your own personal astrology chart. Uh, and, and thank you for being here. I've got these videos every day to support you in unshakable self-care by working with the planets and making the best of the energies that are present and, and how to get the most out of them. So thank you for being here. I will see you next time. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Invite a friend to watch these videos if you're enjoying them, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.